Uh, hey guys, this is my newest DVD update. It's been a while since my last video even. Um, just I haven't had batteries for the camera, and now I do, so I've got a whole slew of videos coming. So, uh, it's just a short DVD update, but I'm going to throw some graphic novels in here as well. So the first one we have is actually a Blu-ray, and that is The Fly, David Cronenberg's The Fly, starring Jeff Goldblum and Gina Davis, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Yeah, Gina Davis. Uh, I have not watched this yet. Uh, it was, uh, this was a cheap Blu-ray, too. It was only ten bucks at, uh, Walmart. Here the picture quality's not very good, but, I mean, come on, it was ten bucks. Can't, can't complain. So that one was The Fly. Next one we have is Defendor, starring Woody Harrelson, uh, Kat Denning, Sandra Oh, and Michael Kelly. This one is basically, it's Woody Harrelson, uh, uh, dresses up as a superhero, kind of, the superhero Defendor, and he goes out and tries to help people. I know it sounds like Kick-Ass, but it's, it, it's like Kick-Ass in a way, but again, there's like another whole layer to it where it's just way different, and I think this is actually a Canadian film. There we go. See the disc. There, just simple. You can get this pretty cheap too at uh, Walmart. Gotta love Walmart sometimes, yeah. See, so yeah, darkly funny, I guess. Yeah, it really wasn't as much of a comedy as the trailers led us to believe. But it still, it, it had its moments, and it was just, you know, a great, great flick. Now, next up, uh, we're going into the TV shows. We've got Mad Men. This is one I blind bought. It was like 30 bucks, and I blind bought it, and I really loved it. Uh, uh, shit. Uh, yeah, it takes place in the 1960s. Uh, it's all about like the ad men of the 60s and like what they do. and Really great show. I I like that style period, like the 60s and stuff, so like all the, like, the clothing and scenery, I guess, just looks really cool. A full like, digipack, and it stars John Hamm, look at that, John Hamm. I still think he should play superhero of some kind, He's he, he really looks like he could do a, a superhero. There's a uh, buddy from Angel, Connor, Vincent, what, what's his face? Not so much, well... He's still a little prick on this, but he's not... Yeah, he's just still a bit of a whiny prick on this. More... And I finished this, and it was really good. I'm going to wait for Season 2 to go down a little bit, because it's 42 bucks at the moment. So, Mad Men. Really good. Uh, definitely, I mean, you even check out the pilot on online or something, because... It, it takes a little while to get into. Uh, it took me a couple, two or three episodes just to actually get into it and get used to it. But uh, John Hamm's character is definitely really interesting and cool. And you, you'll definitely want to know more of his story. And last but not least, we have Fringe, Season 1. Fringe is a J.J. Abrams show that just kicks so much ass. It's, uh, it's like, it's x files -y, but not. Like, it's got, they've got their whole, like, they've got their mythology, and it's so strong and good, and they know what they're doing. And this was really cheap, too. This was 20 bucks. That's why I picked it up. And I'm loving Season 2. Uh, season 2 actually just finished last week, so, and it was pretty awesome. I'm glad it got renewed for a third season because the show can go so many places and so many potential storylines and stuff. And so yeah, Fringe. John Noble is definitely like the highlight of this show. He uh, he's such a good actor, and he uh, he can just go from like the crazy lighthearted to like the you know kind of dark and serious, and like they're they're all great. Just to put that out there. So yeah.
not mine actually it's got this weird crease down the middle I don't know if you can see that but I don't know 20 bucks I'm not going to complain too much about a crease so now uh, sorry if I sound like um, I actually have a cold so I'm a bit stuffy but now we're getting into the graphic novels first one here is Scott Pilgrim volume 1 uh, Scott Pilgrim's Precious Little Life this series is fan-fucking-tastic I just finished this one the other day, I think yesterday I love it, I can't wait to get volume 2 and I hopefully I'll read all of them before the movie comes out that's my goal anyway uh, the movie definitely looks sweet but uh, you guys should definitely check this out this series, just, uh, just look at it looks awesome Just uh, the jokes are so funny and uh, just such a great, such a great book. Next up we have Frey from Joss Whedon. This was another excellent book. Oh, I just love the art. So good. So this one basically like takes place 200 years in the future from Buffy, and and as you can see, it's got like Buffy's scythe weapon here and they don't really mention Buffy uh, there's like a little reference but it's nothing too too big look at it uh, I could sit here I can read this again I probably will too but Frey you definitely need to check out it's uh just the colors and art so great and the story is amazing so check out Frey if you have not already. Next up we have Buffy Season 8 Volume 2, Buffy Season 8 Volume 3, Buffy Season 8 Volume 4, and Buffy Season 8 Volume 5. That's right, I went on kind of a Buffy Season 8 spending spree. Uh, yeah, Season 8, it's not, it's, it's not the TV show, but it's still, uh, still a good read. This is actually my favorite one out of them all. Out of the ones I've read. I've just read the first three as of right now. But I mean, it's got Faith and her whole storyline. Because Faith's my uh, favorite Buffy character. So, it, uh... It's got her whole story and stuff, and... Yeah, I I'm actually doing reviews on these. Uh, I'll, there'll be more of these types of reviews coming soon. Volume 3. There's Volume 4, which I'm kind of excited to read, because, look at that. Frey! Yes, Frey. Although I heard that it's not very good, but I still kind of want to read it. Well, duh, I bought it, but... Uh, I heard this is where, like, the quality of the series starts to slip a bit. In here. But... Really, like the last issue, like look at that. Shit, Buffy animated, nice. I'm easily amused. Then this one, Buffy Volume Five. Uh, I think this is all just like a bunch of one shots inside of it. Um, I'm not sure if they connect at all. I'll tell you in my review when I read it. Look at that Law and Order, vampires and Law and Order. So anyway. That was that. We got graphic novels and DVDs. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm now back. Back with batteries. So I will see you guys. I've got a bunch of videos coming. Buffy reviews and other stuff. Top 10s of the like. So I shall see you guys next time. And have a good one.